With both sides sitting on the 29 point mark, this was always going to be a close encounter at East End Park. But it was the visitors who controlled the first half with a series of slick passing moves through the midfield. Tremendous vision and a delicate chip by Joe Miller found Jess in space in the wing. He had time to look up and spot his target, David Rowson, who threw himself at the ball with a desired effect. 1-0 Aberdeen. A perfectly weighted cross from Jess. And that's a brave diving header from the 21-year-old. The Dons were quick to capitalise on any defensive blunders. Jess controlling with his chest. He slots to Miller. But Miller's right-footed strike, well blocked by Westwater. Bert Payton's half-time talk must have been fairly charged up for the pars were electric after the break. Stuart Petrie's free kick, powerfully headed past Leighton by Andy Todd. 1-1. And the Pars players delighted to be on their Todd on this occasion. They practice this for hours at training and it certainly pays off. A dangerous free kick and a superb glancing header from the Pars defender. And just seven minutes later the big man struck again. The layoff this time from French and Todd strikes zooming into the net. 2-1 in Fermlin. Nobody marking Andy Todd but that finish quite unstoppable. However, it was one of these rare matches with the action raging from end to end. Jess's free kick eventually punched out by Westwater, but only to Rousen, who fired low for the equaliser. Two each. Joe Miller's corner six minutes later put the Dons ahead. Brian O'Neill claiming that goal after some confusion. That made it 3-2, but in closer inspection, it looks like it's in firm one head, which got the final touch to that one. A good first touch is vital in football and they don't come much better than this. Par substitute George Shaw on the park for under two minutes. And a terrific volley over Jim Layton. That his very first kick of the ball. Three each. The Dons had a great chance in the dying seconds. Jess's corner cleared again to Rousen. But this time Westwater denies the young Don. But a real cracker for the supporters this one. Final score, 3-3. Three, three.